presents the Med Open 100 Years. Wingfoot really prides itself on being a championship venue. And the lineage is impeccable. Five U.S. Opens beginning with Jones in 1929 and one PGA Championship. And how's this for a twist of fate? There's only been six head professionals at Wingfoot in the history of the club. Five of them have won the Met Open, starting with Mike Brady and uh, Craig Wood and Claude Harmon. These are almost household names. Tom Neoporti and then, of course, uh, Mike Gilmore. In addition, 10 men who at one point had been assistant professionals here, along with two members, have all hoisted the silver trophy. No course has hosted more Med Opens than Wingfoot. This year will mark a record seventh time, but never before on the East course. Other national titles have been conducted here on the East. Two U.S. Women's Opens, won by Betsy Rawls in 1957, and Susie Maxwell Burning in 1972. And Roberto DiVincenzo captured the U.S. Senior Open in 1980. Tillinghast's East has been living in the shadows for far too long. Everyone thinks as the West is, is the great course, but personally, I enjoy playing the East just as much. The East course uh, is, is a jewel. We just did a restoration with uh, Gil Hans we put some of the green complexes back to their original tilling has features. Whenever you get into a set of greens that are clearly masterpieces in their own right, you're always really wanting to be very careful. We did recapture a lot of the more dramatic slopes that players can use from a recovery aspect or utilize them to kind of putt from A over to B to get to C. There's a ton of undulation and even if you miss a green, it's really important to be on the correct side of the hole. If you don't have a great short game and a great imagination on the greens and around the greens, you will not be successful at Wingfoot. Some length has been added. The golf course is in that kind of 7,000 yard range, which is really a benchmark from a championship perspective. But the essence of Tilly's genius remains untouched. I actually had one of the more humorous conversations with a member the other night, he was talking about how he came out here in the late afternoon and wanted to get on the east and it was packed and he said, I had to settle for the west. And I said, well, that's probably the first time anybody's ever said that. So now the members are eager to show off their reinvigorated track, curious to see how she'll fare against the Met area's best players. From a course setup perspective, I want to challenge them in any and every way we possibly can. You're not going to see a ton of birdies. It was always hard to shoot par on the east. You just can't overpower Wingfoot. You just can't do it. It's an intelligent golfer's course. They're going to have to choose when to go, when to pump the brakes. The strength of the east lies in the par threes, as Tillinghast sculpted clever subtleties into each one-shotter. They're scenic, they're fair, they're challenging. Um, they're as good as it gets. The par 3 13th is my favorite hole and par 3 that I've ever played. It's just so fair relative to the yardage. So uh, it, it punishes you and, and it's incredibly penal if you don't hit the green, but yet it's only 150 yards. So all things being equal, we should uh, you know play a solid shot and have a chance to make two. Twos will be tough to come by on the final par 3. Here we are on the par 3 17th hole of the East Course which stretches as long as 230 yards. If you consider the prevailing wind, which is usually into you, you've got a lot of work to do, not only on the tee shot, but when you get to the green, the severely sloped green offers plenty of challenge. When players arrive here on their 53rd hole, it's very likely that the play of this hole will determine the outcome of the Met Open. Which is all the more reason to heed the defending champion's sage advice. You have to be on your game mentally. You're going to have to uh, be engaged for 54 holes. Uh, as soon as you let up, uh, you know, the East Course will get the best of you. <laughs>